I chose the dual degree in engineering and IT at JCU because of the hardware and the software side. So the engineering degree to me offered experience in hardware development, so that may be circuit design and implementation, whereas the IT degree offered experience in software development, so programming, all that kind of stuff. I chose to study engineering and IT at JCU because of the small class sizes and the practical hands-on experience. Perhaps my favourite subject in the dual degree was computer interfacing and control. So in this subject we got to implement our own project on an embedded system. In particular, my group worked on a remote current sensor. The actual implementation of the project from start to finish, programming the chip, trying to design it, actually soldering at the end was really cool, seeing it all come together. During my undergraduate studies, I was part of the JCU Robotics Club. So this was a social club which was for all engineering students. And within that club, I joined what is called the IEEE Circuits and Systems Society. One of the things I did when I was in the JCU Robotics Club was attend the IEEE Extreme Programming Challenge, which is a hackathon for 24 hours where you have to come up with innovative ideas to new challenges. For me, it's been hugely beneficial. So over the past couple of years, I've received various travel grants to different conferences um, in America, Japan, Italy. And I've recently received the pre-doctoral grant, which has allowed me to perform research at the Marx Institute in Sydney. In the final year of my engineering degree, I did a thesis project, and that is a one-year research project. Um, and mine was on neuromorphic engineering, which is an emerging field which takes in the hardware design and the software design, so the engineering and the IT sides. Specifically, it's bio-inspired computing. So for my undergraduate thesis, I was lucky enough to develop neuromorphic systems which emulated the biophysical processes of neurons and synapses in the brain using hardware. So the analogy that I like to use is that computers are very good at doing a small subset of tasks, for example arithmetic, but we're good at doing a diverse range of things that are very hard to do using a computer. So neuromorphic brings it together by trying to replicate these processes that are happening in our brain using circuitry or using hardware. I enjoyed my undergraduate thesis so much that the next natural progression for me was to do further research and in my particular case I chose to do a PhD at James Cook University. My PhD encompasses different aspects of neuromorphic engineering and artificial intelligence. So in addition to trying to implement biologically inspired circuits and systems, a large portion of my PhD is in about artificial neural network acceleration or conventional AI. The specific goals of my PhD are to minimise these deep learning systems and to put them on smaller devices, so to minimise the power utilisation required for them and the space required. After I started my PhD, I applied for the IBM PhD Fellowship, which is an insanely competitive international fellowship, and I was lucky enough to be a recipient of it. So next year, I have an opportunity to do an internship in person at the IBM Research Centre in Zurich. I'd really like to work as a research scientist after I finish my degree.